Welcome to the Early On. My name's Kathy, and I'm a resource consultant for Lansdowne Children's Center. Today, I'm going to share with you the importance of play with children three to four years. Play is an important part of children's learning and healthy brain development. It's through play that children at an early age engage and interact in the world around them. Learning through play, children can develop social and cognitive skills and gain the self-confidence required to engage in new experiences and in their environment. Children also learn and develop through play their gross motor and fine motor skills, speech and literacy skills. All these skills help them successfully reach their developmental milestones. It is important to remember each child grows, gains skills, or reaches developmental milestones at his or her own pace. So it's hard to tell exactly when a child will learn that a given skill. The developmental milestones give a general idea of behavioral and physical checkpoints as a child grows. The best way to monitor your child's development is to track their developmental milestones. Milestones can be found on websites such as pathways.org or 0to3.org or webmd.com slash parenting. As your child grows, the way they play will change. They will get more creative and experiment with more toys, games, and ideas. Children move through different forms of play as they grow. This includes solitary play, parallel play, associative play, and then cooperative play. The impulse to play comes from a natural desire to understand the world. Your child will continue to grow in many ways this year. You've gotten over the terrible twos and now we're on to the magic years, ages three and four. They are called this partly because it seems like magic, they're finally listening to you, and partly because your child will begin to use their imagination. But this pretend play is not as simple as it may seem. The process of pretending bids skills in many essential development areas. Social and emotional skills. When your child engages in pretend or dramatic play, they are actively experimenting with the social and emotional role of life. Through cooperative play, they learn how to take turns, share responsibility, and creatively problem solve. When your child pretends to be a different character, they have the experience of walking in someone else's shoes, which helps, helps teach them the important moral development skill of empathy. It is normal for young children to see the world through their own point of view, but through cooperative play, your child will begin to understand the feelings of others. They will show, show a wide range of emotion, such as sad, angry, happy, or bored. They build self-esteem when they discover that they can be anything just by pretending. They will understand concepts such as mine, his, and hers. Language skills. Talking and singing to your child every day helps your child's development in lots of ways. By the age of three, your child should be able to say their name and age. They will speak between 250 to 500 words. They will be able to tell you stories and answer simple questions. They will be able to speak in sentences using five to six words. By the age of four, your child should be speaking clearly and in complete sentences. Gross motor skills. During ages three to four, they will meet milestones such as walking up and down stairs, alternating feet, one foot per step. They will kick, throw, and catch a ball and climb well. At home, have a dress-up box filled with old clothes, shoes, backpacks, hats, and purses to help encourage pretend play. Give your child the time to try their independent dressing skills. Help your child explore their body through different movements. For example, walking, jumping, hopping, and standing on one foot for up to five seconds. Begin to introduce some age-appropriate games like Simon says, or follow the leader. Fine motor skills. Between three and four years, they will have the skills to cut with age-appropriate scissors, 
Copy circles and squares. Draw a person with two to four body parts. Build a block tower with four or more blocks. Print some capital letters and screw and unscrew lids on a jar. At home, have available a box filled with various colors and textures of paper, child scissors, pencil crayons, crayons and markers for your child to use and explore with. Give your child blocks or stackable items. Let them explore with empty containers and lids. Cognitive skills. Your child should be able to correctly name familiar colors and sort objects by shape and color. They will recognize and identify common objects and pictures. They will be able to complete an age appropriate puzzle. Your preschooler will build their memory skills as they learn to recognize the simple shapes and colors that make up a toddler and preschool puzzle. Puzzles are perfect for helping your child, especially preschoolers, help develop critical cognitive and fine motor skills. Choosing a piece of puzzle, picking it up, searching for its proper spot and fitting it into the puzzle space also allows your child the opportunity to strengthen the connection between their hands and eyes. Young children learn by imagining and doing. Have you ever watched your child pick up a stone and pretend it's a zooming car or hop a Lego across the table as if it were a frog? Your child is using an object to represent something else while giving it action and motion. Read regularly to your child. Encourage pretend play based on those stories. Reading and sharing stories can help your child get to know sounds, words, and language and develop early literacy skills. They can learn the value of books and stories. It will spark the child's imagination and simulate curiosity. It will help your child's brain, social skills, and communication skills develop. Help your child learn the difference between real and make-believe. And it will help your child understand change and new or frightening events and also the strong emotion that can also go along with them. They will pretend and fantasize more creatively during these years. You may notice that your child's imagination is really active. This can be good and bad. Pretend play becomes more interesting and involved, but your child may also start developing unrealistic fears, such as believing a monster is in the closet. Provide opportunities for make-believe play. Here are some more simple and inexpensive ways to support a child's creativity. Use large plastic crates, cardboard bo blocks, or large boxes for creating a home or a cave. In a tote or play kitchen, have cooking utensils, dishes, plastic food containers, table napkins, and silk flowers. Have available pieces of fabric or blankets or old sheets for making costumes or a fort. Theme appropriate materials such as postcards, used plane tickets, foreign coins, and photos for a pretend vacation trip. Have available writing materials for a child to take pretend phone messages or write notes or make a shopping list. Give your child opportunity to play with peers. This is a good time to try a parent supervised play date. Have a tea party and pretend to drink out of an empty cup or eat a pretend cupcake. Pretend to make a phone call on an old cell phone. Sing songs and play rhymes so that your child can learn and join in the fun. The ideas for learning and pretend play at home are endless and don't have to cost a lot. Remember, it's the parents and caregivers' presence and attention that enriches children. In closing, keep in mind, children grow and develop at their own pace. Don't worry if your child has not reached all their milestones at this time, but you should notice a gradual progression in growth and development as your child gets older. If you don't or you see possible signs of developmental delay, 
Talk to your child's doctor or caregiver about your concerns. Thank you for joining our early on parent information session today. A resource consultant from the Early Integration Program is available to talk to you should you want more information, support, or to discuss any concerns or questions you may have. Please contact us by email at eip at lansdownecc.com or by phone at 519-753-3153. Ask reception if you can speak to a resource consultant.